Welcome everyone, my name is Jen. If you're watching this video, chances are you are getting ready for bed. So yes, welcome to our five minute yoga based bedtime stretches. Hopefully this will help you transition from the chaotic day to the calmness of the night and help you achieve a good night's sleep. Let's begin in our child's pose position. Go ahead and make all the necessary adjustments. Feel free to use one of your pillows as a support. Bring your knees hip width apart and then shift your weight back as you elongate and lengthen your spine. Reach your hands over your head and rest your arms on your pillow. Release tension in the neck and the shoulders as you continue to take this mindful breaths. Deep inhales and full exhales. Settle in stillness for a couple more breath cycles and continue to relax your body. On your next breath, readjust your knees and place them a little bit wider than your hips. Bring the big toes together if that serves you and sit back and transition into frogger pose to start opening the tight hips. Continue to relax and send breath to your spine. As you release tightness in the hips, on your next breath, bring yourself into an all fours tabletop position. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knees, and let's do a few cat and cow stretch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round the spine. You may slightly arch your lower back as you go into your cow stretch when you lengthen your spine with each inhale. Such a great way to decompress your spine. Cat and cow stretch. When you're ready, walk your feet back, straighten the knees, and welcome your cobra. If this back bend with full spinal extension is a little bit much, go into your baby cobra by lowering your forearms down. And continue to breathe mindfully as you relax your shoulders and open your heart. On your next breath, we'll go ahead and reposition onto our supine position. Lie down on your back, bring your arms over your head and give yourself a pencil stretch and the knees to chest to give yourself a nice hug. Squeeze your thighs into your abdomen to gently stimulate internal organs, giving those internal organs some gentle massage. On your next breath, straighten the legs once again and give yourself one more pencil stretch. Elongate the side body, lengthen and breathe. When you're ready, bring that left knee in towards your chest and then gently pull across your body as you extend that left arm out to the side. Drop that left shoulder down and gaze over that shoulder if it feels good. Otherwise, you can keep gazing towards the ceiling. I'm giving my doggy here a massage with my foot. I think he likes it. Anyway, feel the stretch on the outer hips and into your lower back. When you're ready, switch sides, right knee in towards the chest. Take that deep breath and then exhale, gently pull across your body. And this time, extend that right arm out to the side and drop that right shoulder down. Gaze over or keep gazing up and breathe even from this twisted position again feel that stretch on the outer hip in your lower back on your next breath bring both knees back towards your chest wrap your hands behind the legs and squeeze the thighs to your abdomen now slide the hands down and reach for your feet and bring your heels together or the soles of your feet together and welcome a happy baby pose you may keep your knees bent or you may straighten out the legs a little bit. You may rock out side to side or you can settle in stillness. I know happy baby is such an awkward looking pose, but it is a good way to release tightness in the hips and it will also help relax your entire back. Alrighty, give me one more pencil stretch here as we prepare to close out our practice. But first, one final hug, knees to chest.
and on your next exhale bring your legs and your knees to a butterfly pose keep the hips open as you return to your breath place one hand over the heart one hand on your abdomen stay here for as long as you like have a good night's sleep and see you next time sweet dreams